How's it going, Knights fans? Thanks for tuning in for another edition of the FDU Men's Soccer Report. We have special guests with us today. Uh, we have the assistant coach and an FDU graduate, uh, Orsay Pazewski. Coach, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having Gavin. First, it was a loss to, at, to, against Penn, and then followed up with a, a 2 nothing loss to Princeton. Um, when you have a weekend like that, what are, how do you get a positive out of that? Well, I mean, it was definitely a tough weekend for us and our guys. Uh, but, I mean, even though we lost, we could still take some positives out of those games, you know. Uh, Penn was 0-6 coming into our game, but they're not an 0-6 team. And uh, they played extremely well against us. And, uh, I mean, we competed. It just, at the end, we uh, just came up a little short. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, we could draw some positives from the game. Uh, I mean, we got to do a little better finishing opportunities mm -hmm. when we get chances and uh, be a little more uh, more clinical. Um, in that pen pen game, you had mentioned uh, you found yourselves down uh, three nothing and were able to come back. So it's kind of been a theme for you guys that even though when you're down, you're never kind of out of it. So um, what are something that you like about that effort? Well, yes, definitely. I mean, our guys uh, seem to respond well when uh, it's uh, their backs are against the wall, kind of. Right. And uh, unfortunately, that game, uh, it was a little bit too late. Mm -hmm. uh, we were down 3 0. We scored two goals in a span of like four minutes, but uh, we just uh, ran out of time. Mm -hmm. uh, but the guys did respond uh, at that time. So uh, we wish we had more time on the clock, but uh, unfortunately, we didn't. Um, well, some of the leaders of your team, uh, Carlos Poutons and Andre Vesanson in the midfield, can you talk a little bit about um, what each of those guys have meant to, to the team this year? Well, uh, they've meant a whole lot to our team. I mean, uh, unfortunately, we missed Anders uh, at the Princeton tournament, mm -hmm. uh, who didn't play, but uh, we're looking forward to having him uh, this Friday uh, when we open up our conference play. Um, but uh, he's uh, like a backbone to our team. Uh, and so is Carlos Futans, who's a senior, who's been here before and knows what he needs to do and what we are expecting of him uh, to do well and compete. And uh, hopefully we get a victory. Well, we had a chance to catch up with Anders and Carlos about how the season's been going so far. We're having a couple of firsts here on the FDU Men's Soccer Report this week. Uh, it was a first time interviewing Orsay, and it's the first, first time that I've had to stand on a box to be as tall as the person um, I'm interviewing. But we're here with uh, senior defender Carlos Putons, standing 6'5". And uh, Carlos, the defense has been challenged um, last week especially with five goals in two games. Um, so what are you guys trying to show up in practice to get ready for uh, conference play? Uh, to be honest, I feel like our Defensive line is pretty strong, and uh, we've just been struggling a little bit uh, defending as a team. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're working on that, and everything should be fine for the conference play. You guys take on LIU Brooklyn. Um, as you as a senior, how much does that help having that experience of you've already been through the battles of the NEC and you know what to expect? I know the teams more or less, and uh, I know how hard they're going to compete. Uh, there are better teams and a little bit worse teams, but uh, we all start 0-0, zero, zero, so it's going to be a tough season ahead of us. All right, Carlos. Well, uh, thanks for your time today, and uh, good luck this weekend. No problem. Thank you. Our next guest here on the FDU Men's Soccer Report is uh, sophomore midfielder Anders Vesthans. And uh, Anders, you've been out for a few games. Um, how difficult was that to have to sit on the sidelines and watch your teammates play? Uh... I really want to play, so obviously that was that's that's hard. But you know, you just try to support them the best you can, and and yeah, you you hope that they they can do the job without you. And I mean, we have a good team, so I feel like there have been plenty of players to 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 take my spot. And yeah, but it, it is really hard sitting on the bench here when you really, really want to play. Right, and then now that you're coming back, what are you hoping to bring back uh, that maybe the team lacked when you were out? Um, well, I mean, I play a really central role uh, on the team. I have like the deep mid and mm. like helping out the defense a lot. And with my, with my mentality, like 
it's not always working maybe technically and all this and that but i always bring hard work and stuff and yeah. trying to help the guys to to keep the focus and stay positive mm -hmm. and always keep pushing although we're we're down or if something is not working right so hopefully i can i can help in that direction um, and then moving into conference play, open up with LIU Brooklyn. How much do you expect, like how much or a, or a difference do you expect between the games non-conference as opposed to conference? I mean, every game should be the same, but of course, first game of conference, you want to get off to a good start mm -hmm. and, and, and LIU wants to, to, probably wants to go to the playoffs this year. They didn't make it last year, so they have a lot to prove. Mm -hmm. and. So non-conference doesn't really matter now. It's uh, everyone starts at zero, so it's gonna be intense and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a tough game. But uh, hopefully, we'll come on the on the right side. Well, Anders, uh, welcome back, and uh, Thank so thanks for joining us today. You're welcome, Coach. As you mentioned on Friday, you guys open up NEC play with LIU Brooklyn at home. Um, what do you guys need to kind of? fix and to get ready for uh, the in intensity of NEC play? Well, uh, like you said, we do open up uh, Friday night against LIU and uh, it's our first uh, conference opener and we we tell and the guys that, uh, you know, all these uh, conference games are very tough games and you need to go in with the mentality that uh, it's going to be a, a battle out there, you know? And uh, if we just... Uh, Fix some defensive errors we we did uh, this past weekend. Mm -hmm. I think uh, we could do we could do all right against LIU. All right, Coach. Well, good luck this weekend, and uh, you got your first uh, FDU Knights soccer report out of the way. How does it feel? Uh, it feels great, and I'm looking forward to Friday night. <laughs> well, thanks, Coach. And thanks. Knights fans, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.